um, <coughs> the oxygen molecule O2 has and so you can see wonderful liquid oxygen nice blue color so on the over here on the top strongly oxidizing very very around the structure and these unpaired electrons give rise to color and that color is blue so blue is often perceived to be the color of solvated or unpaired electrons and, and you can lots of chemists are really scared when they see the blue of liquid oxygen because liquid oxygen is very very reactive general way where there might be organic molecules perhaps simple organic chemicals like hydrocarbons grease or perhaps a highly elaborate compound then they tend to detonate and they tend to cause very energetic experiments so oxygen in here you can see liquid nitrogen well you may not see is colorless okay so this is liquid nitrogen and what I hope you can see is that this magnet, which is a pretty good magnet, let me just show you um, here with my keys that they stick pretty strongly to the magnet. Um, the, the magnet has absolutely no effect at all on the liquid nitrogen. I can pull the magnet and nothing happens. And then we're going to do the same thing with liquid oxygen. So, careful of my shoes. Um, the liquid oxygen it's a very nice blue color today so now let's try it here's the magnet again and if I take the liquid oxygen you can see I can pull it right up here because oops, it's not as magnetic as my keys but you can see there's a really big difference it sticks to the magnet so you can see it really is magnetic. ...to the oxygen cylinder and he's going to fill up this gas jar with oxygen and we're going to do a really classic experiment, the one that everyone learns at school, a test for oxygen which is to relight a glowing splint. So we have a, uh, a, a traditional gas jar full of oxygen. So here you can see we're burning a splint. Okay, so this is the, the wood burning in excess oxygen around us. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the splint out so that it is just glowing. So if I blow on the splint you can see it gets brighter. Now we're going to try and relight that splint by putting it into a very oxygen rich atmosphere. So we'll move over to the jar and we'll put in our glowing splint. And you can see the flame comes back to life. So that's a test that everyone learns for, for, for an oxygen rich environment. What so happened? What made that happen? Well the increased oxygen